That's what we're talking about today. A new tool called Napkin.ai. Napkin. 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 All right. In today's world, we are swimming in information, but most of it is a mess. Think about it. Notes scribbled everywhere. Spreadsheets that make your head spin. Documents you can't even search. You know, there's valuable stuff in there, but finding it, it's more like searching for a needle in a haystack. You're really wasting your time, missing out on good ideas, and honestly, it's just frustrating. But what if you could take all of that messy data and turn it into something clear and useful in minutes, maybe even seconds? That's what we're talking about today. A new tool called napkin.ai, the tool that's going to make you say goodbye to data chaos and hello to real structured insights. Let's get started. All right, this is how uh, the website UI looks like. Rather neat, right? It is all about getting the visuals and the flow charts and the structure from the text that we've put in, right? Now, how does it work? It's, it's rather simple, right? The first step is to start by pasting the text we would want the output. The second is by clicking on a lightning bolt icon like this, we can go about generating these fabulous and rather cool uh, visuals as well. Don't worry, we'll get into like a real use case just in a moment from now. What I really like about this particular tool is an option to go about using your own icons, decorators, uh, connectors, and overall really have the power of putting in my brand colors as well. So customization is king in this tool, and that's a big plus. And finally, you know, we can go about exporting everything that you've generated through this tool, all, all in any kind of format, be it PDF, PNG, SVG, JPEG, whatever you want to uh, do with this. Now let's get started with the very first use case. Now, once you've signed in, uh, this is what you see. It's a blank plate or a napkin is what the company calls over here. And once you click on this new napkin, you have three options, drafting with AI or rather starting with a blank napkin. I'm gonna start with drafting with AI first, right? Now we have the option of generating text using AI. Let's use a brand proposal for a plant care company for our use case today. And let's click on continue. Of course, AI is rather quick in this, uh, in this model, right? So this is what you see. It's a bland proposal for a plant care company. It has target audience, product offerings, marketing strategies, and a conclusion, right? There's a lot that you can see. Now, this is where the real magic comes in, right? Let me select this paragraph, right? And you remember the bolt that I talked about, this lightning bolt icon? Let me click on this visual. Give it some time. Abracadabra. And the magic of the AI is going to get us some fabulous you know, visuals over here, right? Now think about it. As a client of yours or as, say, an executive, I'm sometimes so bored by reading all these long-form paragraphs, right? Because I come across this brand proposal so many times. However, on the flip side, by using this tool, you see the kind of uh, paragraph that I had selected earlier. By a single click, I can go about getting these amazing visuals, right? So there's SWOT, then there's this brand proposal. There's of course like uh, a brand care proposal. I like the keys part of it. Let me then go about selecting this key one, right? So this is what building a leading, you know, kind of b uh, brand in plant care industry is. It is really about brand identity, target audience, marketing strategies, and product offerings, right? And this is the beauty of it. And then, as I said, there is also an option to go about customizing it. So once I have selected the particular, say, visual, I can then drill down even a bit more by selecting certain different colors as well. So let me select a rather minimalistic one for that matter. I like minimalism, so maybe this is the one, right? And of course, you know, the best part is, say, if there's something that I want to change in this, right? So I can double click on it and maybe techniques and plans to promote brand and its product for the company. It may or may not make sense right now, but this is what I've added, right? And once I'm rather satisfied with the visual that has been generated right now, I can go about either exporting it, playing around with certain colors. As you can see, these are background colors over here. I can also go about exporting it. Now there are different options. Uh, there's a light option, there's a dark option. So yeah, do I need a background uh, or not? And then what kind of resolution I want it, right? So yeah, I have an option to download it. I use it, but a lot of times what I do is that I simply click on this clipboard. Now it's already copied in my memory. And then I go back to the document, the original document that I'm typing on, and then just go about uh, doing pasting over there. Yeah, that is one use case 
and let's get to the next use case now all right for the second use case let's use google of course uh, guilty uh, here i've just written the seven laws of attraction and of course uh, given the generation we don't want to read a lot but let me just go about copy pasting this right uh, these are here and once i've copy pasted these from google let's go back now to the same tool napkin and let's go back to creating a new napkin AI. But instead of drafting with AI this time, let's start with a blank napkin, right? Now, this is how the blank napkin looks like. I've copy pasted exactly what I found from, uh, you know, Google. Uh, and yeah, now once I've done this, I have certain options, right? Let me now go about selecting this entire thing, right? And click on this lightning bolt icon. Again, let us give some time to the AI model to do its magic uh and yeah here it is right of course we've used the key one earlier let's not use that but you know let's look at the other ones right these are like the seven models uh over here of course it's showing five right now i do have an option to change that later hierarchy of laws of attraction there's this uh let's now look at one kind of an output that would give me both like headings and a bit of say information as well so i'm trying to find more options in the visuals over here and yeah here we are uh, i think i really like this one laws of attraction there's a foci over there and let me click over here and once i've clicked i can go about changing different things over here let me go about choosing this one right so these are the seven laws or other six laws right now and I can again have the same option of, you know, exporting this anywhere in form of a PDF or a PNG at whatever resolution. And there you have it, napkin.ai, making sense of all that crazy data you've got. See how easy it is to turn that mess into something useful. You can finally find what you need without pulling your hair out. Imagine all the time you'll save. If you're as excited about this as I am, let us know in the comments how you are going to use it. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. We've got more cool AI tricks coming your way, so you don't want to miss them out. Until next time.